grouping. So to start out with, we make a cube. Make a UV sphere. Hold shift. Highlight the cube. Put those back there. Let's make a cube. Make another cube. So what I want to do is not join these objects, but group them. Hold shift. That way we can highlight that one. Go to object, group, create new group. Now we can call this group anything we want, or we can leave it the way it is. Let's leave it the way it is for right now. Under the cube has the indicator of what the name is. Let's click anywhere. Okay, let's grab these two. Again, holding shift, object, group, create new group. So now we have two groups out there. Go to select, grouped, group. Notice that this one highlights. If I highlight the sphere back here, the keyboard shortcut for that, by the way, is Shift G. So let's highlight this sphere, hit Shift G, group, it'll highlight that group. I can move this group as one, I can rotate it as one. I can take the single object by holding W. I can move this object and I can move this object. Again, Shift G group will highlight both of them at the same time. So it's a very easy way to select both of them at the same time. Notice they are separate things, however. So what's the difference between objects grouped and objects joined? Well, this one's very um, forgiving. You know, I can just choose not to highlight the group, or I can just shift G to highlight the group. I can rotate the group. The pivot stays there. So very undestructive. Make two more cubes. When you join something, Object join, so, so you just go shift, highlight the other one, object join. Now these are joined forever. There's no grouping. I cannot separate them unless I do the complex maneuver of tab, highlight a component, L, mesh, vertices, separate selection. Notice that's P on the keyboard. So you can hit P on the keyboard and go to selection. Now you'll see that the, the actual pivot points off on one of these, this one. So you go object, transform, origin to geometry. So that's how you separate those out. If we un wanted to ungroup something, well, I can just go like this. Object, group, remove from group. It's also Control-Alt-G. Now if you hit Shift-G, group, it'll group those together. Or I can add it to it. You'll notice that it's selected anyway. So let's try to get rid of that again. We'll remove all from group. And you'll notice that it's not green anymore. It's orange on this side. So when I hit Shift G, group, it does not highlight. I personally use join all the time. I like the extra step. It doesn't matter. You know, again, you know, you'll get used to, there's an extra step, but there's a bonus. For me, joining is very powerful. It combines them via the components. 
and next chapter we're going to be understanding what components are. For right now, these are objects, we're just moving them, we're just grouping them, we're just joining them, but we're not affecting their components just yet. So that is grouping and that is joining together and let's go on to the next video.